Okay, let's see. Okay, the turkey's in the oven, the stuffing is ready. You know, you always cook this meal all by yourself. Let me help this year. Aw, Chandler, that's sweet. But you don't have to do everything Dr. Phil tells you to do. I'm serious, let me do something. Just not the turkey or the stuffing, nothing high profile. Oh, the cranberry sauce. It's easy to make and no one really cares about it. Tell me more. Okay, I'm gonna go check on something across the hall. You start by washing these. Not with soap! <laughs> You obviously haven't tasted my palmolive potatoes. We're so sorry we're late. Please let us in so we can have dinner together. No, everything's cold. The turkey's dried out and the, the stuffing's all soggy. Yeah, and there's a bowl of cranberry sauce. That... What happens to cranberry sauce? Nothing, it's fine. Oh, thank God. Oh, I just remembered. We do have something to eat. Monica put something in our oven this morning. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hey, you touch that and you will be sorry. Guys, I listened to her. The vein is bigger than I've ever seen it. <laughs> oh my God, it's Brussels sprouts. That's worse than no food. <laughs> ha ha, all you got was Monica's stinky Brussels sprouts. Stinky? Please let me stay on this side of the door. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Looks so beautiful. The turkey, the stuffing, the cranberries. Uh, enough! A monkey could have made them. Hey, listen, guys, we feel really terrible. He's doing that weird eye contact thing. Don't look at him. Don't look at him. Come on, you guys. We want you to know we're very, very sorry. Right, guys? I feel oh, terrible. Sorry. But let's not ruin this day. You worked so hard. Let's move past this and try to have a nice meal all together. Huh? The floating heads do make a good point. Yeah, they do seem to feel pretty bad. So bad. So bad. So bad. <laughs> okay. Okay, you two go get the dessert, and I'll let you in. Dessert? Yeah, I asked you and Phoebe to pick up the pies. You did remember, right? Pies? Oh, we thought you said prize. <laughs> Here. <laughs> Grand supreme little darling. Congratulations! Oh my god, you forgot! You force me to make dinner, then you're an hour late, and you forget the one little thing that I asked you to do. Really, girls, not cool. <laughs> well, you manheads aren't any better. You lied about going to the game. You knew it would make you late, and you still went anyway. Hey, I'm getting a little tired of this, okay? We said we're sorry. It's Thanksgiving for Pete's sakes. A day of forgiveness. It's a day to be thankful. Don't make me come up there. <laughs> Apologies. Fine. Let's just go. I don't need your stupid dinner. <laughs> that would be a lot more convincing if you weren't drooling. Oh, is that what that is? <laughs> uh, come on, you guys. Let's just do our own Thanksgiving. Yeah, I'll cook. Yeah, let's go out. Hey. <laughs> yeah, you three have a nice Thanksgiving. The three of us? Yeah. You, Chan, and the vein! Oh, just... I am so, so sorry. I was gonna do it, really. But then I was standing there with $327 in one hand and $238 in the other hand, and I was thinking, wow, it's been a long time since I had... $327 plus $238. Joey, we had a deal. That's why you're here. I've got to fire you. And I gotta pay rent. How, how about this? You don't fire me. Instead, I stay here, I gain their trust, and then they'll start listening to all the nice things I've been saying about you. What kind of things you've been saying? Well, well, nothing yet. They really hate you, and I want to fit in. People, we're in trouble here. We've only got 12 hours and 36 minutes left. Move, move, move! Monica, I feel like you should have German subtitles. <laughs> Joey, speed it up! Uh... 
I'm sorry, it's the pigs. They're reluctant to get in the blankets. Monica, how did this happen? I thought you had this all planned out. Do you want me to cry? Is that what you want? Do you want to see me cry? <laughs> sir, no, sir! <laughs> all right, you. What? No, look, I told you I am not a part of this thing. All right, look, Ross, I realize that you have issues with Carol and Susan, and I feel for you, I do. But if you don't help me cook, I'm gonna take a bunch of those little hot dogs and create a new appetizer called Pigs and Ross. All right, ball a melon. Hey, how come I'm stuck dicing when he gets to ball a melon? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Joey? What's going on? What? <gasps> oh, my God! I know. It's stuck. It's stuck. How did it get on? Well, I put it on to scare Chandler. Oh, my God! Monica's gonna totally freak out. Well, then help me get it off. Plus, well, it smells really bad in here. Of course it smells really bad. You have your head up a dead animal. <laughs> oh, oh, Monica. Oh. Hey, hey. Hey, did you get the turkey bait? Oh, my God! Oh, my God! <laughs> Who is that? It's Joey. What, what are you doing? Is this supposed to be funny? No, it's not supposed to be funny. It's supposed to be scary. <laughs> I can't. It's stuck. Well, I don't care that that turkey has to feed 20 people at my parents' house and they're not going to eat it off your head. Right. Hold on, okay? Let's just all think. <laughs> okay, I got it. Phoebe? All right, you pull. I'm going to spread the legs as wide as I can. <laughs> Joey? Yeah. No one's not the time. Sorry, guys. Okay, count to three. One, two, three! Ooh. Ah! Ah! ah. <laughs> it worked! I scared you, I knew it! <laughs> I'm over here, big guy. Also, yeah, just yeah. so you know, I'm not gonna make a turkey this year. What? Well, Phoebe doesn't eat turkey. Phoebe? Turkeys are beautiful, intelligent animals. No, they're not. They're ugly and stupid and delicious. All right, okay, so it's not just Phoebe. Will's still on a diet, Chandler doesn't eat Thanksgiving food, and Rachel's having her aversion to poultry. She is? Yeah, did you remember I had to leave the room the other day when you had that roast chicken? Yeah, but I thought that was just because I put the whole thing on my hand and made it walk across the table. <laughs> Anyway, it just doesn't seem worth it to make a whole turkey for just three people, okay? It's just, it's, it's a lot of work. But you gotta have turkey on Thanksgiving. I mean, Thanksgiving with no turkey is like, like, Fourth of July with no apple pie. Or, or Friday with no two pizzas. All right, fine if it means that much to you, but it's just, there's gonna be a ton left over. No, 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 they won't. I promise I will finish that turkey. All right, you're telling me you can eat almost an entire turkey in one sitting? That's right. Because I'm a Tribbiani. <laughs> this is what we do. I mean, we may not be great thinkers or, or world leaders. We don't read a lot or run very fast, but damn it, we can eat. I the calamari and the Caesar salad. I like your necklace. Oh, I made it myself. You are so talented. Well, it's no pesto. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, let's just cut to the chase, okay? You're single, you're single. He gets off work at 11. She'll be waiting for your call. I'll give him your number if I could just get one calamari and one Caesar salad. I did not yell. I am not putting a dollar in the jar. I wanted to see it, so I ran around the neighborhood and bought all the copies I could find. Man, this is bad. And I've had my share of bad reviews. I still remember my first good one, though. Everything else in this production of Our Town was simply terrible. Joey Tribbiani was abysmal. All the newspapers. It must be a good review. Is it great? Um. <laughs> oh dear God. But the good news is no one in a two-block radius will ever know. What about 
the rest of Manhattan. Yeah, they all know. <laughs> oh, my God, this is horrible. I'm so sorry. I'm so man. humiliated. Yeah, but you know what they say, Mon? There is no such thing as bad press. You don't think that um, the chef's mahi-mahi was awful, awful? Is bad press? I didn't write it. Is he right? Am I really, am I oh, awful? God. No. No. Oh, no. Hey, hey, Monica, you listen to me, okay? And I'm not just saying this because I'm your friend. I'm saying it because it's the truth. Your food is abysmal. Monica, my star student. You know, you called me that before, so I, I took the liberty of fashioning a star out of aluminum foil. Now, no pressure. You like my cookies? You give me the star. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. Wow, a star! <laughs> I know you all hate me, and, and I'm sorry, but I don't care. <laughs> okay, Joey, you're up next. Yeah. Oh my God, this is amazing. You get an A. I get an A? <laughs> a in school? Hey, I'm a dork. <laughs> Joey, I'm so proud of you. I think you should give him your star. Excuse me? <laughs> he doesn't even know what he's doing. We're all beginners here. Nobody knows what they're doing. I do. I'm a professional chef. <gasps> Oh, relax. It's not a courtroom drama. <laughs> if you're a professional chef, what are you doing taking introduction to cooking? Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. It's just that, um... Well, I, I cook at this restaurant, Alessandro's, and um, I just got a really bad review. Oh, Alessandro's. I love that place. You do? Oh, yes. You're an excellent chef. As a person, you're a little... Oh, I'm totally crazy. But y you like the food? <laughs> <laughs> Very much. Okay, then. I don't stink. I'm a good chef. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want to go. I'm having fun. Well, actually, did either of you pay for this class? Hey, hey, hey. If my friend says it's time to go, it's time to go. <laughs> Has anybody seen my engagement ring? Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> tomorrow enough having to give it back to him. Hi, Barry. Remember me? I'm the girl in the veil that stomped on your heart in front of your entire family. Oh, God. And now I'm going to have to return the ring without the ring, which makes it so much harder. <laughs> Easy, Rach. We'll find it. We'll wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, look. All right, when'd you have it on last? Boy, probably right before she lost it. <laughs> You don't get a lot of doy these days. <laughs> no, I had it this morning. I know I had it when I was in the kitchen with... Dinah? <laughs> oh, don't be mad. You didn't. Oh, I'm sorry. I gave you one job. Oh, but look how straight those noodles are. <laughs> Now, Monica, you know that's not how you look for an engagement ring in a lasagna. I just can't do it. Boys, we're going in. <laughs> Little question for you. How do you think this suit would look on an assistant fire? Okay, the owner of Alessandro's came over here to yell at me, but instead I made him some sauce and he offered me the job as head chef. Oh, my God. You just ruined the thing I was practicing the whole way home, but I'm so happy. <laughs> Can you believe it? I finally get to run my own kitchen. Oh, you've waited so long. No. Oh, holy. Oh, hey. Hey, Phoebe, hey, quick question for you. Yeah. How do you think this suit would look on an assistant buyer at Bloomingdale's? I don't know. Totally depend on her coloring. And uh... <laughs> you got the job! Oh! You got the job? Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> oh, it's gonna be so great. I'm gonna get to help decide what we sell. I'm gonna have an office with walls and everything. I'm gonna have walls. Oh. <laughs> okay, is this the day of good news or what? I got us a job. <gasps> the wedding reception. <laughs> oh. Um, Phoebe, I, I kind of need to talk to you about that. <clears throat> um, well, I, I, I think it might be time for me to take a step back from the catering. But we've only had one job. Uh, I know. But now we have this second one, and it just, it feels like it's snowballing, you know? Yeah, what are you saying? 
I got offered the head chef job at Alessandro's. What? It's okay, because you know what? If you think about it, you don't really need me for the business. You're the cook. <laughs> Without you, it's just me driving up to people's houses with empty trays and asking for money. <laughs> all right, but, um, well, I I I'll pay you back all the money you invested, and you can keep the van. For what? I can't believe this. Gotta get out of here. Phoebe, um, wait a minute. Diamond Assistant Fire! Hey, what are you guys doing? Making holiday candy for the neighbors. I'm sorry, who? <laughs> I'm gonna hang this basket on the door, and then when the neighbors walk by, they can all take a piece. <laughs> But we don't know the neighbors. I do. There's a, uh, let's say, guy with a mustache. <laughs> smokes a lot, lady. And kids I've seen. And a red-haired guy who does not like to be called Rusty. See, this is exactly why I'm making this candy. We can learn their names and get to know our neighbors. Wouldn't it be easier if we just move? Who is that? Don't worry, I'm brave. I am brave. I, I am brave. <laughs> No, 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 no. Can you tell me who is there, please? Uh. <laughs> My name's Gary. I live upstairs. What? Hi. Hi. Do you know what time it is? It's candy time. <laughs> My roommate says that they taste like little drops of heaven. Oh, please. <laughs> Did you hear that? Little drops of heaven. <laughs> <laughs> 4 a.m. So, can I get some candy? I am sorry, but some of us have to get up early and go to work. He does not know that I am not some of us. Um, listen, I'm sorry, but I I'll put some out first thing in the morning. Well, okay, I'll swing by later. You live in this building? Mm -hmm. mm. Seems like I would have remembered you. <laughs> mm. Night, Gare. Hey, hey. Hey. Hey, how much did you guys tip the super this year? Yeah, we were gonna give 50, but if you guys gave more, we don't want to look bad. Mm. Oh, actually, this year we just made them homemade cookies. And 25 it is. <laughs> <laughs> you gave them cookies? Money is so impersonal. Yeah. Cookie says someone really cares. All right, we're broke, but cookies do say that. <laughs> I can see that. A plate of brownies once told me a limerick. <laughs> People, let me ask you something. Were, were these uh, funny brownies? Not especially. But you know what? I think they had pot in them. So, you guys, who else did you tip with cookies? Uh, the mailman, the super. Oh, and the newspaper delivery guy. Oh, my God. What? I don't think you're going to like this. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, there's a cookie smashed in the sports section. Oh, look, and he did my crossword puzzle. Yeah, but not very well, unless 14 Across Gershwin musical actually is Bite Me, Bite Me, Bite Me, Bite Me. <laughs>